Welcome back to Sunless Sea. So currently what I have my sights set on is getting enough Echo to buy the Sphinx Stone to take back to London and do this trade route. I'm not entirely sure what I'm actually going to get for it, but it's probably going to be a pretty good profit. So I need 200 Echo and I only have 22 right now. And even if I sell the stuff that I have, which currently is pretty much just this bolt of spider silk and this cask of mushroom wine, even if I sell both of those things, it's not going to be enough. Because this I can sell for 50 at London, and this I can sell for, uh, I think it was like 20 or 30. So basically I need money. But this is kind of what I have my eyes set on. And to achieve that, let's continue to explore, collect port reports, and see what we can find. So I think there's something directly beneath me. I wonder if I can dock at this place, too. Looks like it's the other Sphinx. Hmm, no dock. Okay, hold on. So where do I want to go? I'm pretty far away from London. And I've gone directly north, directly south, and directly east, but I want to explore here and here. So I want to go northeast and southeast. So let's actually just head back to London, directly west, and just cut across this dark patch right here. So let's go a little bit more down, as I'm going right here. And then make our way over here. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's an enemy ship, and I think that's a strong one. Do I want to fight it? I don't think I do. I send my Z-Bat out. Ooh, I think it's gonna see me. No. Okay, we're good. Distant bells. There's something waiting for me in London. And I should be harder to spot now that I've brought this tireless mechanic on board because it gives me plus eight veil. And Veil increases my chance, or decreases my chance, of being seen. Alright, so there's nothing down here. Where is the funging station? That was one of the first things that the Admiralty wanted me to find, and it just doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. I'm gonna cut a little bit down here, maybe... Ooh, maybe this is the funging station. Hello? Mutton Island. Oh, no. I've already been there. I want to know what's here. Still nothing. Still nothing. Really? Hmm, we're kind of getting low on supplies. Okay, here's something. You know, there's some weird stuff that pops up down here. Like, this blue lightnings crawl leisurely up the funnel. Saint Erasmus dancing, the cry goes up. <laughs> what is that even talking about? I have no idea. Here the wildest airs mingle with the airs of the near reaches. Demo's Gate, named for a navigator lost above. How did his bones come below? Everything I read in this game is so damn eerie. Makes me want to shiver. Ooh. Alright. I don't want to explore this place, but let's stay away from that. Phosgene Blinks? Bleaks? What an interesting place. I wonder what's coming out of these... things. Is that the Phosgene? Whatever that is? Alright, I think it's time to turn around. Yeah, let's go back.
So I've heard that you want to travel from light to light and stay as close to shore as possible because it reduces the rate that your terror goes up. So there's some nice light here. Gonna go through the fog. I'd rather not, but uh, land is here. And in fact, we might have been away from this place long enough that we can collect another port report. Let's see. I believe we can. Ooh, I think we can take another stab at the riddles, too. Let's see. Visit the hilltop above town. There's not much wind on the Untersey, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicably local fragment of weather. And the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Hmm. 75% chance of success. Interesting. Well, I think I can get a port report and then do this afterwards, right? So let's get a port report. Yeah, we can still do that. There's the Mog, there's the Explore the Shore. See, I think it's Explore the Shore. I think when I explored the shore and did the riddle thing, I think that got rid of this Visit the Hilltop Above Town. I guess I can only do one. So, you know what, let's just see what happens with this. Toasting the Wind. You stand on a clifftop, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge. Then, nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is southerly. I guess I succeeded. I did. I want to know what happens if I fail. <laughs> I mean, if I f like, if I fail the challenge, does that mean I went climbing up to the hilltop and I, like, the rock gave way under my grip and I fell and <laughs> broke my bones? Plus 20 fragments? Cool. And what are the fragments even used for? A scrap of lore. Discover monsters and locations to gain fragments. Gain enough fragments and they'll combine into a secret. Oh, right, that's this down here, right? Your pages score is 25, so glean another 268 fragments to gain a secret. I don't know how my pages score factors into this, but yeah, enough fragments becomes a secret, and a secret becomes... Uh... A currency to do something with. I know I've used them, like, once before, I think. Also, I've gained a 2 terror. Nice. So yeah, I think I should be stopping at places that I'm going by, even if I've already been there. Just to- whoa! Um... Sure. Back, backwards. Let's get into some combat. I believe I can do this without taking any damage. Oh! Ooh. We're good. Am I an asshole? Am I just, like, murdering the wildlife? I don't know. Let's see, food. I am low on food, but we only have 15 hunger. Hmm. Let's try to dissect it. Uh, looks like we actually... Yeah, this time we succeeded. You set to work with your knives and acids? It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops, of one of the deep Z-crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in these... Trogl... Hmm. Troglodyte is the base word. How do I pronounce that? Troglodytic. Yes, troglodytic, I think. 
but its eyes, normally vestigial in these troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. Oh, so I just murdered a beautiful creature. I'm so proud of myself. Gained a fragment. So that's all I get from it, one fragment, huh? That is not even close to worth it. I should have gone for the food. Alright, where else can I stop on the way? Rowan's Rocks? No, I can't stop there. Yeah, there's really nowhere I can stop on the way, so let's just go to London. I think I need to buy supplies. I don't have much money, though. I'm probably gonna have to buy the silk that I have. I sell the silk that I have, I mean. Okay, what's going on? Let's collect some messages. Free evening, the blind bruiser has departed. Excellent. Gone off to bruise somebody else. And someone wants to sign on. Alright, so we still have you. I don't have your stuff. I'm sorry. You still want things. I don't have any things. I'm sorry. Let's read the paper. I think I've already still got current news, so I don't think I can do that. I can rest. I don't have any need to. Yeah, no need to do that. Can visit the university. That could be cool. More recruits. Recruits cost money, though, don't they? They do, and I don't have the money. The university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. Unlocked with one time secret, you have three. I have three secrets? Oh, shit, let's do it. Quite impressed. Oh, yes. The university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh, yes. This is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She, he, explains, teeth glinting. I've lost a secret. I am now favored by the antiquarian? I don't know what that means. Well, it says you are now favors antiquarian. I don't... <laughs> the, grammar, the grammar on that makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know what that means. You are now favors antiquarian. You are now favors... I favors antiquarian? The antiquarian favors me? I don't know. Alright, what is up with the pages? Your pages score is 26. Glean another 216 fragments to gain a secret. How does that work? Like, if I have more... If my pages score is higher, does that mean I need less fragments to do stuff? What's the, what's the relationship between pages and fragments? I don't get it. I mean, I would think that fragments maybe come together to form a page, but... You gather the fragments and you get a secret. Or do you gather enough fragments and you gain a secret and a page? How does that work? I think the pages are to fulfill my main purpose, which is to write a book about, you know, adventuring and exploring, right? So I need a certain amount of pages to fill out that book, I think. Um, where's that? Not my accomplishments. Favors, memoirs... Obje it's gotta be objective, right? Yeah, become London's most venerated explorer. 
<laughs> it doesn't give me any details about how to do that, though. Um, can I do that here? Write a will... Mm, write the Zong of the Sea. Uh, th sorry, the Zong of the Z. Because S's are randomly replaced by Z's because it sounds... school. You have assembled a store of lore and a collection of antiquities. Your knowledge of the Z rivals that of any captain of history. Write it all down. Okay, I'm missing pretty much everything. But how many pages do I need? You need 77 secrets? Holy balls! A captivating treasure, seven outlandish artifacts? You need to... Jesus Christ, you need everything. I'm never gonna win. There's no way. But it doesn't list pages here at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. I guess I'll keep the rest of my secrets? There's gotta be other places to use them. Other than just the, uh, uh, college or whatever that was. Alright, let's go to London. And let's hand in my crappy port report. Wait, where is it? Where's the Admiralty? Why can't I go to the Admiralty? Do I have to talk to the Admiral? Oh yeah, I guess I just do it all through him. Interesting. Alright. Oh yeah, I've got one for the salt lines as well. So this is the crappy one. One fuel. That's all unchanged. Five echo. Yeah, not much. This one should give me more though. A new accomplishment. Surveyed the salt lions. 20 echo. Nice. Fuel and a little bit more favor. Cool. I can ask to speak to him. Don't have any particular reason to do that, but I'm curious what that would do. Alright, what's up with the Alarming Scholar? The Alarming Scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Possibly her. Is it her? Appointment as University Maritime Liaison was precautionary. To keep his... Is it his? Razor-sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah, yes. The Scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? Memory of Distant Shores. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving that away. The only other thing that I know I can do with it is sell it at Vendorbyte for like 10 Echo or something like that, which is not much. So, sure, let's see what happens. A piquant piece of picaresque pilgrimage. I'm not entirely sure what two of those one, two, three, four, five, six words mean. I thought that was picturesque for a second, but it's not. It's picaresque. Unless picturesque is spelled differently than I thought it was. I'm not sure. Wells of emotion. As the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining, or is it blazing, eyes. They overflow, splashing onto the desk plotter. Stop! He, she, sobs, at last. This is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macaw of memories. I wish each individual tone recalled. The macaw of memories? Hmm? As in, like, the bird? Do they have the, do they have a parrot? Remember the stories and then tell it back to them? But, like... That's their version of a recorder. That would be very humorous. That would be the worst recorder ever. Alright, my favors with the antiquarian is increasing. Is that a good thing? I guess. Thanks. And she or he paid me 10 echo anyway, which is pretty much what I would have gotten for it at Vendorbyte, so I might as well just turn them in here. I suppose. A Z story? Sure. Thrilling. Let me hear every detail. First, I must find my fountain pen. 
Oh, how regrettable. It has a spider impaled on the nib. Excuse me, let me... Oh, good heavens, it's still alive. Pass me that volume of Gibbon. There we go. Do you have another pen? <laughs> Alright, ten more echo. And all of these are locked. I don't think there's anything else to do here, is there? Oh yeah, you know what? I was gonna sell my stuff. So let's go ahead and sell. Oh man. This gun only cost 50 echo? That's incredibly cheap. Maybe I should buy another gun. Well, first let me sell my stuff. Right, so I have a cask of mushroom wine and a bolt of spider silk. And I don't actually need those for any quest at the moment. I was thinking of holding on to them, but... I kind of need money, so I'm just going to sell them. Alright, 136, not bad. Remember, I'm trying to get up to 200, so I can do the trade route. I'm also pretty low on supplies. I think supplies cost 10 for each one. Where are they at? Here we go. Wait, 20 for each one? Nah. That is unbelievably expensive. Oh my god. If I get a better cook, can he, like, take down... Can they, like, take down the amount of supplies that my people eat? Maybe I shouldn't have 10 crew. Maybe I should be running on a skeleton crew so I don't have to feed them. It's probably a bad idea, though. But damn. Is this the cheapest way to get it? Is there nothing I can do? I know I can like trade in favor for fuel, but that's not supplies. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll just buy a couple and hope that I come across a better source later. Another one? Alright, what else is here? That stuff's way too expensive. It's a forward weapon. Sea worm torpedoes are small but lethal. Hmm, does a lot of hull damage but not a lot of life damage. I don't really know what the difference is. And how would that apply to a beast? Because beasts don't really have holes in life, do they? Unless the hole is basically considered the armor. Perhaps it is. So I believe this gun is what I already have. Yeah, that's what that one means, I think. Yeah, because I already have one. Okay, so that's a deck weapon. So... Oh, you know what? I don't even have a forward slot. I have a bridge slot and an auxiliary slot, but not a forward slot. This boat doesn't even have that. So that's not going to work. Yeah, it's a forward weapon. Not going to happen. Auxiliary, that's nice. Deploy these in combat for unparalleled protection against torpedoes. I have not encountered torpedoes as far as I know. Anyway, I can't afford it, so fuck it. New engines. Can't afford any, of course. Um, yeah, we can't afford a damn thing. Goodbye. I'm setting off. Question is, to where? I need to explore, and I need to shoot things to collect money. Mm. I'm thinking northeast. Let's go this way. Take a stop at Hunter's Keep on the way. Collect a port report. Sounds good. Fed the crew. Please don't feed the crew. I'm going to kill any damn crabs that I can find. Because feeding people is expensive. Also, what does this bar here mean? There's this little bar. Is that the amount that you need to get to till you have to feed your crew? And perhaps the bar gets shorter and shorter with the larger your crew is? That's what I'm guessing, but I don't actually know. 
Let me see if it ever goes above that bar, or if I have to feed the crew once it reaches it. Also, let's go ahead and stay close to shore. Although I guess since I'm trying to go to Hunter's Keep, I might as well just head straight there. Stay in the light as much as possible. Is that somebody to shoot? Uh, no, that's a friendly. <laughs> that's one of those teleporting ships that seems to just crawl up on land and then vibrate around and then disappear into the ether. How's it going, sisters? They're not receiving, but I have news. Okay, who have I spoken to? I think Cynthia twice, Lucy once, Phoebe once, right? Is there any particular reason to talk with one over the other? I mean, I think they give you different stuff. But I don't remember what they give you. I think they reduce terror. Well, it depends. I think Cynthia, like, increases your terror, doesn't she? Because she's the melancholy one. And the middle sister, which is kind of lighthearted, she, I think, reduces your terror. Let's talk with Lucy. It's the same story she told me before. You, right, we lose hunger with her. A memory of distant shore. More attention. Gain supplies. Nice, I really need that. And we lose terror. Okay, so I just want to keep... I just want to keep talking with Lucy. Because she's amazing. Free supplies. Lose terror. Gets rid of hunger. Nice. Alright, let's get a port report. And, uh, let's head this way. Ooh, into the fog. I love the way the fog looks. Long way to the east. Gators mourn. Hmm. Ooh. Something up there. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Did it, did it see me? It did. Yes, turn away from me. When you are far from land, click on the Z-Bat icon. It will search for undiscovered locations nearby. Now is not the time for that tutorial. Go away. So I want to stay on his ass, because then it makes it easier to hit them, but them harder to hit. They have a harder time hitting me. So this is good. They can still shoot at me, I think, but they have to wait a long time, and I think we're going to be okay. Okay, whew. That actually went really well. Okay, so I'm starting to see some strategy for combat against these pirates. Sneak up behind them, shoot them from the back, and just try to stay behind them. I mean, I guess it's kind of like a dogfight, right? Because in an airplane, you want to be behind the enemy. If you're behind the enemy, you can shoot at them, they can't shoot at you. No, they fed their crew again. I didn't see what this bar was at. Hmm, pretty good stuff. So one fuel, two supplies, nice. And a cache of curiosities. A bale of... I'm just gonna call it parabola linen. So I guess it's like a, a U-shape on a graph. Parabola linen, linen I guess. Does this place have a dock? I guess not. Also, you can't hit this on the ground. Oh, shit. Back, back up, back up, back up. I don't think it'll be able to see me. Alright, hold on. Eight 
80 hit points. I can definitely do that. Uh, we're gaining terror, aren't we? We are, even though we're in the light. Damn it. Don't see me. Don't see me. Did it see me? I don't know if it did. shot. One more shot. There we go. Okay, that was a little bit clumsy, but didn't work out too bad. Hmm, just a cache of, cache of curiosities. Not great. A little bit more linen. I think I can sell that for 50. Fed the crew. Again? God damn, my crew keeps eating so much. Need to put them on a diet. Patrick's locked. Uh, let's just go east. That's what my Z-Bat has been informing me. At least where the Z-Bat has been informing me to go. Gators Morn. Oh my, it's awfully dark here. This place just looks so cool. For a second I thought I was going to hit that, then I realized, no, it's in the air. Step carefully. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this picture. This place is much more vertical than it looks on the map. The Morn is a stalagmite vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The Corsair Citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the Z. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan and cling to stanchions. Higher, higher. Now the Unterzy shimmers like glass below. Children clamoring in crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows, and you hang in a cradle next to a red-bowed pirate cutter. Whoa, bunch of stuff. Tough challenge? 39%? No thanks. A very chancy challenge, 49. Hmm. Some drinks. 50 echo? No way. Explore? So that would give me the port report, I suppose. Whatever this is, I can't do it. Introduce Blemigans to the Morn. And for that I need a docile Blemigan. What the hell's a Blemigan? Some sort of an animal. That's weird. Not sure why I'd want to introduce a new species of animals to this crazy-ass place. Hmm. Collect some ill-gotten gains. Interesting. All right, for now, let's just get a report. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the Morn. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the best, the beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throatful of lurching terror. Whoa. A con. Contratemps? What the hell does that mean? A contratemps with Corsairs. Fights on the Morn have a staccato quality. A careless lunge will send you plummeting to your doom. So wait, and choose your moment carefully. Hmm. I can fight or flee. 53% chance or 39. Well, this one obviously, obviously seems better, and plus I do have a past as a soldier, so I'm thinking this is a pretty good bet. I sure hope I don't fall down and die. Fight! You're good at that. 
a situation of considerable gravity. Knives glitter in the lamplight. Shots ring out. Zailer after Zailer goes spinning away into the dark. Withdraw if you can. You've lost one crew. Great! I don't have to feed him as much, right? You've gained five terror. Iron 54 failed in a challenge. Try again, you may have better luck. Eh, that's not so bad. I mean, I'm sorry, crew member, that got all your bones crushed when you fell down the, the morn onto the rocks beneath. I'm kind of happy, though. Assuming that that means I don't have to feed them as often. Which I certainly hope it does, because it only makes sense. More crew equals more food. Hmm. I think I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Many shops? A little bit. The friendly face. Of course you can sell illicit goods here. And of course you can't expect to get a fair price. So wait, why is it called the friendly face? What do we have going on here? Hmm. Wow, supplies are much more expensive. And you can sell them for 20. Interesting. I've heard that making money off of trading is quite hard, unless you have a really big ship that can hold a lot of stuff. So the cheapest price that I've been able to find for supplies so far is 20. And the selling price is 20. So I can't actually make a profit on it at all. But if I could find a price that's a little bit better than 20, I could potentially make some money. I mean, I think one supply takes up one cargo, right? So I could buy, like, 24. Which, if you make, like, 10 Echo each, would be a pretty good amount of money. 240 profit. But that's just daydreaming. At the moment, it ain't gonna happen. And this shit's expensive, so goodbye. I did actually get a port report, right? Where would that even be? I don't actually know where that would be. Uh... Sure, I have a port report. Bye. Alright, now where's the nearest place? Nothing. Pause the game just to make sure my people don't eat food. I don't know. Let's go find fun adventures! And by that I mean let's go walk into the gaping maw of a massive crab. Station 3 is a long way to the northeast. Do crabs even have maws? That's the only one it's mentioning. Guess I should go northeast if I want to find any damn thing. We're very far from shore, too. That's not good. Maybe I should just go, like, up and down the coast, you know? If I stay close to land, my terror won't go up very quick. I don't know. I want to find Station 3. Woo. Mmm, is that the same as the other crabs? Or is that, like, a different one? Oh, hello. Don't even need to worry about it. Also, it's chasing me. Please go away. Thank you. Mm, where do I dock? I don't think I can dock here. Oh, there we go. It's up there. I'm assuming this is station three. Wait, Shepherd Isles. Is this Shepherd Isles? Oh, sweet, I think I just gained a secret. Yeah, I have. Speak to your officers to improve your abilities. Wait, that's a thing? Alright, let's do that in a second. Let's uh, dock here first. Oh, 
Um, let's actually do that first before we check out the island, because the abilities that I upgrade, whatever that actually means, might actually affect my chances of, like, my, my dice rolls for the story events. So, I don't think I really care about increasing the cook's abilities, but let's check out the tireless mechanic, because I never spoke to him. Hello, hello. Busy now, but always got time for you. Invite him to dine with you. One supplies? Mmm. I can't really spare supplies right now. His tastes are Spartan. He eats little, drinks only water, barely sleeps at all. So you need only lay a simple table. Nah, I can't spare the supplies. Spend a secret to improve your veils unless it's higher than 150. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, so how much is it going to actually increase it? So it's 33. Right now he's giving me a bonus of plus 8. Okay, so it increased it by 1. Cool. Of course, of course. This, and this, also this. Don't forget this, and never forget that. Yeah, I don't want to spend any secrets on my shady cook. Although, wait a minute. Maybe the bonus it gives you is not actually specific to the officer. Because look at this. The tireless mechanic's veil is still only plus eight. So it gave me another veil, but I think it might be a permanent upgrade. Because it doesn't... The bonus doesn't seem to actually be on the mechanic, but instead simply on me. And it does say speak to your officers to improve your abilities, not to improve their abilities. So, I don't think it actually matters who I do it to. Yeah, so I can increase my hearts. And what do hearts do? Inspire, heal, defend, sometimes help with tests around terror. Uh, sounds good? I don't really know what that means exactly. And he says, Yeah, uh, Bye. What the fuck did he say? Damn dude Shady. That's probably why I called him Shady Cook. Anyway. What's going on with this place? Of course, the bearded watchman tells you. There are no actual shepherds on the Shepherd Isles. Sheep are mostly illegal here. No indeed, it's just the name of the, of the gentleman that found the islands. Greybeard sitting in the village square nods solemnly. No sheep, one says. But plenty of tails. Ask us anything. <laughs> sheep are mostly illegal on Shepherd Isles. What? Alright. Oh, wow, there's a lot of options. Hmm, picnic and hear a tail. Cost a little bit of money. Tails, tails, tails. Let's compile a port report to begin with. Mm, in the bleak light of the false stars, a surface rolling like a porch pot up with a roar of steam and flash of fire. What is this? There's rather a lot of this material. I guess that's, I guess that's just the random mutterings of the locals. Okay, what else can I do? Can't do that. Engage an officer. That costs money. No thanks. So, let's do something that doesn't cost money. And that's going to be one of these tales. Hmm. Tales of the Standing Stones. The bearded villagers are happy to talk about the local sites. Well, sight. True as I stand here. They were sisters, from the sisterhood over on Abbey Rock. Came here hunting a renegade, who served the god called Stone. Ran her to ground here, and she called on the god, and the god struck them all to pillars of rock. Stand close and quiet, and you'll hear him weeping. Oh no, I've gained terror. Well thanks, that was comforting. Harbor Provisioner. And the supplies are expensive as hell, and they pay incredibly badly. 
think I'm good. I think I just need to keep exploring. Like, I really need more port reports. There's got to be some way to make money. In fact, I'm even thinking maybe I should do that quest from Vendorbite. The one to take a bunch of, um... Uh, what were they called? Tomb... <laughs> I want to call them Tomb Raiders. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're called Tomb Raiders. Uh, Tomb Colonists. That was, that's what they're called. I was thinking I shouldn't do it because the destination seemed very far away, but I've already gone considerably far, and I really need to do something to make money. Because it's one of those games where it seems like you kind of need money to make money. So, I might want to take that. But, hmm. Hmm. To see if there's anything nearby. Northwest. Shepherd's Isle. Wait, isn't the Shepherd's Isle right here? Uh. This is a Shepherd's Isle, right? Yeah, this is. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Zbat, for telling me what was literally about two feet away. I see some land there, but that could be just be a corner of nothing. Okay, let's head north, and then just go to Venderbite. So, north a little bit, and then just go straight west. Sounds good. I feel like I can comfortably get into one more fight with a moderately strong pirate ship, and that's pretty much it. So I want to be careful about who I fight. My terror is actually relatively high. Ooh. I'm not sure how much I should fear those things. I don't know how many hit points I have, whether they're even dangerous or what. I'm going to assume it's not dangerous. Okay, it's got a lot of health. We're not fighting that. Nope. Nope. Please don't chase me. Please don't chase me. We're good. Ooh, this looks like a new place. It is indeed a new place. Yeah, my terror is pretty freaking high. I might want to start using my lights. Depot A. A. Oh, this is station three. Machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill, there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire. But the lamps are low where they burn at all, and your ship, the only one in harbor. Hmm. The lamps are low and I'm the only one in harbor. Is, is something going on here? Might be best to get a look from a distance. Train your telescope on shore. Yeah, let's do that. This sounds weird. What's going on? Church? Or something else? You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There's a steepled building on the horizon. By far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. Strange. No sign of people. That just gave me my port report, but I'm really curious. Sounds like they have a case of the Lovecraft's disease. I bet all the local people are probably gathered in that church. I just wonder what they're doing inside of it. Try the gate. The only way past the walls is an unimposing but sturdy-looking gate of triple barred silvery metal. A sign besides it reads, Deliveries. Search for signs of other visitors. 30% chance. No thanks. This place is creepy. I don't think I want to do anything on land.
I don't like this. I feel like I'm going to lose some of my crew, like zombies are going to come out of the ground and drag us down to hell. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? No way in. The metal is steel hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's guns to bear, but no. If you return with a certain delivery, the gate will be open. You'll know if you find it. Ooh, how mysterious. Alright, let's just leave it there. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. But in the next episode, like I just said before, I'm going to head west. Head over to Venderbite. See what they've got and consider taking that quest to transfer the to transport the people. Because it's possible that where they wanted me to transport the people, I actually have already been to. Because I don't remember where it was. If it's really far away, then I probably won't do it. But if it's not too far, then uh, yeah, I guess I will. Because I've actually explored a pretty considerable amount. As you can see. So I'm feeling kind of a little bit adventurous. Kind of comfortable, actually. Going pretty far away from land. And pretty far away from London. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.